everybody so welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a video which is in collaboration with born pretty that is like a makeup -y website so i'm going to be testing out a few of their products now they sent me these over a week ago and i wanted to do this video kind of after a week of using the product so that i could really kind of give you my full review on them i know how they work on me and it's it's basically a full review also if you can hear something it potentially might be the washing machine so just kind of pretend that's not there or pretend it's background music so i have several different products to show you today and i'm going to be talking through each of them and showing you how they go on my face as an overlay and if you want to see kind of what else is on my face of so the other products that are not kind of in collaboration with Born Pretty, then I'll go through them very quickly at the end of the video. So stay tuned if you want to know what else is on my face. But I have a concealer, a highlighter, a brow product and also a lipstick. So if you want to go and check out the website, I will leave it linked down below. I will also link down all of the products that I'm using in today's video if you want to go and check these out. So the products that are in collaboration with them i do also have a code which i will leave on screen now i can't remember it because it's got like cues and stuff in it it's like three cues actually i can have a look on my instagram also if you want to go and follow my instagram then i will also leave that link below and i'll leave their instagram linked below as well because on the highlight page of my instagram um i'm gonna have there the codes for them there so as you can see so yeah the code is qqq2h10 and that is for 10 percent off so use that code they've got incredibly decent prices anyway so you're going to get some good deals here so i believe all of the black products i've got here today in terms of packaging are the newer ones i think and then this one just another one that i picked up as well on their website this says it's a pore defect concealer and the name on all of these products is bonnie choice i think that might be in a different language so i'm kind of hoping that i haven't like really pronounced that incredibly wrong um but yeah so i feel like that's kind of potentially a brand on their website i don't know but the website sells it so as long as you can buy the products it doesn't matter what it's called okay so this is what the concealer looks like it's in a really nice kind of little bottle type thing typical concealer bottle you do get quite a lot of product in here which is amazing for the price that you pay because compared to other concealers i've had prices compare really really well for this product that you get i got mine in the shade number 20 i believe yeah i believe i got mine in the shade number 20 and when you initially put it on your face i thought oh it's you know a little bit of an off color a little bit yellowy rather than the normal type concealer but as soon as it blends in it blends in absolutely fine it fits my kind of skin tone perfectly and i'm incredibly happy with this concealer it blends out very very nicely i do find though that if i do leave it on for too long it can get quite dry if you know what i mean so i you do have to work with it quite quickly and blend it in but it's not too too bad it's great coverage i would say it's medium to full coverage and it can you know cover up blemishes it can highlight the face so this is definitely worth giving a go and i've been using this every single day this week because it is that good also i'm very sorry if my face looks kind of ready um i don't know what my camera's doing today but apparently um it's not feeling my face i then used their liquid highlighter and this is what it looks like i'm not going to read out kind of brands or anything like that because i just get names wrong um but this looks like it comes from china because it's got loads of chinese writing over it i believe it's chinese this is what it looks like and the reason why i wanted to pick this up is because i love a good liquid highlighter for putting on my face underneath my foundation or just kind of on top of my foundation but underneath powders just because i like to have that little glow underneath and then i can either leave it like that or potentially put another highlighter on over the top but yeah this is the one that i got and it's moisture and shine so it's for moisture and shine and it looks like this it's very very shiny obviously it's a great highlighter as you can see on the overlays and works really really well um with past liquid highlighters i found that they are a little bit tricky to blend out this one blends out absolutely fine you've got no trouble with that and i'm very very impressed with this and i have also been using this every single day 
Okay, I then have a brow product and I got it in the shade number one. It looks like this. Um, it's a tinted eyebrow gel. Waterproof, oh it's waterproof. I do actually know that it is waterproof because throughout the day my brows just stay on so much longer than they ever used to before. So you can tell it is definitely waterproof. Is my face a slightly blurry? But the issue that I had with this, and I'm gonna be completely honest because obviously I have to be, and you can tell from the overlay, when I got this product, I, I can't, like the pump doesn't work for me. And I don't know whether that is on every one of them or it's just this one. I would say it was probably just this one, but yeah, the pump doesn't work. And it's not like I'm just not been pumping it for long enough. I would say I've gone like this about 500 times and I can confidently sit here and do this in front of my face knowing it's not gonna come out. Um, and then I looked inside and there's no way that it's ever gonna come through that pump. So there's definitely something wrong with this, but I dip my brush in side of it get the product out and it works absolutely fine so I found a way around it and it still works really really well the product itself I was actually really shocked because I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was I am a very much a eyebrow pomade lover I love pomades because they're just so easy you can carve out your eyebrows very very easily and I thought that this would give me more of kind of a natural eyebrow look when actually you can really kind of define your eyebrows while still making them look quite natural I think I like that look better than how I used to have them it means my eyebrows don't look overly drawn in or overly fake but they're still kind of like tinted and they're also defined so I actually really love this and I have been reaching for this every single day because I want to try it out but mainly because I've actually been loving the look that it gives and then finally they sent over a lipstick and this is the one I'm very impressed with this lipstick I do have to say when you first feel the packaging you think oh wow like it feels very very luxurious and quite heavy which I think feels quite nice and you feel like you know it's an expensive product even though the price is incredibly decent and this is the one I got in the shade single three I hope that is the shade name but yeah I think it's in the shade single number three and it looks like this and it's just a really nice kind of peachy shade obviously I've got it on my lips now it's very natural it's very peachy perfect for summer and spring and just whenever really the quality of the formula is actually really really good the pigmentation is high it feels kind of like slightly matte and satin so it's a kind of matte kind of satin it doesn't you know shine up as a gloss I would say it's more matte than it is shiny but it is I really really like that and I always like that effect I think it looks great with this makeup look you can wear it on an everyday basis because of the shade name and I would highly recommend going and checking out some of the other shades because the quality of the formula is a very very high standard so that is everything that born pretty sent me so i believe the website is called born pretty but they sell like lots of different makeup products on their website and i think the black ones that they sent me are kind of their newer range um so i will you know obviously link down these products if you want to go and check them out but just go and check out the website go and have a look all over it i'm sure you'll find what you're looking for on there because they've got tons of stuff on there for a very decent price remember to use the code the code QQQ2H10 for 10% off because that is just what you need to do because obviously you're going to be saving some good money there and I will le link I will link I will link all of these products down below their website their Instagram go and check them out and I think that's all I've got left to say but my overall review of the products is that I'm incredibly happy with all of them and I would be honest if I wasn't because you know I, I don't have to be that positive um, but I'm very happy with them all the only slight issue that I do have is obviously the brow product the pump doesn't work but I think that's just an issue with mine not all of them I hope thanks to Bomb Pretty for sending me these items I absolutely love them and I always love to receive makeup because trying new makeup is just fun like who doesn't love to try new makeup also this is the end of the video where I just wanted to talk about um, the products that I also used on my face. So I did, again, I'm sorry about my red face. I used this tinted moisturizer from Nivea and I mixed it with some of my MUA 
custom lightning drops. For powder, I used my Natural Collection powder in the shade Cool. It's just a matte pressed powder. For bronzer and blusher, I used my Beauty Big Bang little trio palette, um, and I used the blusher and bronzer shade in there. I used the Rimmel Scandalized Wow Wings Mascara on my eyelashes. Um, for eyeshadow, I used the Naked Heat palette here, and I used the shade chaser as a base shade and then saw basically i mixed all the shades together that were matte apart from the shimmery one so i'm not going to go into that because i do i will do eyeshadow looks on my channel at some point oh i'm not red anymore but I, that will change and then i used the collection primed and ready setting spray makeup fixing spray this is amazing it's a new bottle i repurchased it so those are the products that i also used on my face today so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe for more videos and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.